Hello and welcome to the 2024 Winmore product launch. So excited to be here today and thrilled to unveil the latest products and latest innovations from this forward thinking and illustrious brand. Uh, deli delighted to have alongside me, former world champion Mark Webster and Winmore production director Lee Huxtable. Lee, we're here at the Morningside Arena ahead of the World Grand Prix. So maybe the perfect place to start is just to talk about the relationship between the brand and the PDC and how that's developed over the past 18 months. Yeah, well, probably 18 months ago, we first signed signed on the dotted line with the PDC and then a few months later, then we saw our boards up on on Sky Sports. Uh, everyone win was just blown away by the professionalism of the people right from the top, right to the people rigging and set up and the people on the pro tour. Um, just really enjoying the professional working relationship with them, really. Yeah. And talking of working relationships, you've been with Winmore since 2007. You've been part of many product launches. What are you excited to kind of look at today and to try out? Yeah, I like looking at the, the, the players' new darts. Obviously, when I started out with it, there wasn't many options out there. Your basic stems, basic barrels. There's been a lot of development, and Winmore have always sort of aided the development of players. They've made changes, and players are always wanting the tweaks to make the perfection. So I'm looking forward to testing some of them out. Should we go and do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, Fusion is one of well, the hottest properties, maybe the most popular properties, but this is something that you've been working on for the best part of two decades now. Yeah, so we've been in injection moulding various products for some time. We've got a, 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 quite a few moulded flights on the market, so we've had our kind of experience in the moulding. So we felt the time was right now. Let's, let's get into the market. Uh, we've come up with what we think is going to be really popular. We've got this really lightweight streamlined so you've got a tapered end less distraction for the dart player where it's sort of smooth into the barrel fully tested the results are really good like. how many different varieties are there um so three different lengths short uh intermediate and medium um six different colors so 18 different variations they look good don't they they look very clean yeah, they do. And I think obviously the, the colour variation we spoke earlier, it's a massive deal these days, particularly for young players starting out. They want an attractive looking dart and flight stem setup, and this definitely fits the bill. Yeah. I keep sticking with these, but I'm going to have a throw. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. I think as well, obviously, you go through a lot of flights and stems as well on the standards, don't you? You can split them at the top, which, which happens. Yeah. These will withstand a lot more. And um, yeah, obviously, like you said as well, Lee, they're very lightweight, so they don't affect the weight of the dart as well. So yeah, yeah, look, they're clearly going to be very popular. Talking yeah. about withstanding more, they just, they seem more durable. Well, yeah, uh, we've got our own testing facility in our factory. So we've literally got people throwing darts every day, day <laughs> in, day out, and we're testing different products. So I know pretty much how much is, how long a standard flight is going to last. These things just go on and on, R really do. And we had similar feedback off our pro players who've been testing them for the last couple of months as well. Over the past couple of years, especially, it feels like we've seen some, certainly on social media, incredible home setups. Tell us about some of the latest products that people can get their hands on and, and to revamp theirs. Yeah, well, we start off with uh, the new PDC branded Surround. Um, we spent a lot of time this year focusing on what we call the dart zone, people's home setup, accessories to go with it. Really excited to show you some, in, some of the products we've got. This is maybe one of the most exciting new products. Something called Whisper. So I feel yeah. like it's fairly self-explanatory, but it is a new sound reduction technology. Before we yeah. get to the tech, just tell us how and why this came about. So, well, this issue has been around for literally for years. We've been, you know, we've had emails, forum posts, messages. How do you get around the annoyance of a dart hit, hitting a board, whether you're in the next room or whether you're in the same household? You know, it is a, an annoyance to hear a thud, thud, thud. Yeah. So it's something we've been looking at for probably six, seven years. Um, we've tried acoustic foams, we've tried using magnetism to get around the issue. And finally, we think we come up with a perfect product. Right, so how, how did you get to that point? Tell us a little bit more about the, the actual technology. Well, actual product, we, we've developed it. So the dartboard is suspended, basically. Um, so the whole frame, 
is fixed to the wall and the dartboard makes no contact at all with right. the wall. You still get your natural sort of uh, the noise of the dart hitting, hitting the, the board, board which yeah. everyone likes, but in, in the adjacent room, nothing, yeah. nothing comes through. Uh, what was the sort of testing process like? Once we developed the product and once we were happy, we, we knew we were getting sort of uh, some good results. Remember, we've actually had it tested by uh, members of the Institute of Acoustics. So we've got sort of proper data. They supplied us all the graphs and everything. So, you know, there's a World Health Organization level for annoyance, which we took <laughs> below that. So, it's, you know, it really sort of ticks all the boxes. What's brilliant about this as well, Lee, is that you've even engineered it with a light. Yeah. So it comes with an optional light that easily clips on the plastic brackets. Um, again, the light makes no contact with the wall, makes no contact with the dartboard, so it doesn't affect any noise reverberating around the house, whatever. So if I show you a little bit about quickly how, mm -hmm. how it works, so a surround obviously fits, fits around the dartboard. If I spin it around then, you can see the four pulley wheels that are sitting on the, on the cables. Basically to mount the frame, you mount the frame on the wall, tension up the cables, and then we've got to come up with this system then for when you want to turn the board. So basically, if I want to use the top segment, I turn it around to the phone disc, look at the red line there, mm -hmm. in line with the 20 segment, put my pulleys in the red positions there. And basically, this, that's as easy as it, is, as it is. So I can just take my dartboard off. And I know because of the registration holes that when I put this in place, it'll be in perfect position. Like Very excited to use this. My neighbours will be happy as well. Well, Lee, this is really interesting and it feels like it's a bit of a game changer, certainly for anyone who can't get a board up at home or spend a lot of the time on the road. Yeah, it's the ultimate portable dartboard uh, set up really sort of comes comes in a bag, everything you see there. Um, perfect for a really quick, quick assembly. You're just putting together a few poles, screw them into the end, uses a traditional rotor lock system. It's got a surround wall protector in behind, you know, for the pros who are sort of regularly traveling, going to hotels, it's going to be you know, it's going to be really popular. One of the key things as well, it feels like it's really sturdy. Yeah, I put one of these together. I think they're fantastic. Like you said, they're doddled to put together. And obviously, if, if you're traveling with darts, whether it be professional or amateur level, I think it's a must have. Yeah, you've got some height adjustment there. And like, like we said earlier, it's really solid. It's leaning up against the wall. You can quickly move it to any part of the room you want. It's, you know, it's going to be perfect. Let's take a look at another lifestyle product then. And Lee, this mat caught my eye as soon as I saw it. Yeah, so obviously we've all seen the big heavy duty rubber black mats you see in the pubs and clubs yeah. over the years. Well, we've kind of taken a step further now for the first time. We've got it for a, a clear PVC mat with a, with a built in hockey that can just roll out and perfect uh, for a perfect throw. Yeah, if obviously for, for players want to take that next step as they get to professional level, you don't, you don't want to, you want to stand up against an hockey because you see players now, they're just focused on the treble 20. They just want to put their foot against something. And obviously this is similar to this hockey set. If you just come up, you're just putting your foot against it. You don't want the lines, like you said, on that mat. You just want that professional feeling. And this caters for that. Yeah. A real professional feel, but at home. Definitely, yeah. And still focusing on the, the home setup, when you're looking for a light, this feels like it's a must have. Yeah, I think the, the plasma light has been huge for us in, in that particular category. Um, I think the way it's evolved, I think people are looking for a more solid, a solid unit, a more permanent unit. So this ticks all the boxes really, so it's screwed against the walls, made of lightweight aluminium, and it allows us then to sort of expand on it. Again, looking at the dart, the, you know, your dart zone and your whole setup. So pretty flexible, the, the, the accessory. <laughs> yeah, accessory I love the pack. accessories. <laughs> so you've got your phone holder, can be used for scoring, can be used yeah. for, you know, FaceTiming your <laughs> opponent or whatever. Anything you want. Yeah. So you've got a drinks holder for water or beer or, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> a dart dock. Again, these can be moved from, from either leg. And then there's an, a bracket then for the laser hockey. So, yeah, all comes in a unit. And it's, a, it's basically an add-on to a really pot, popular product. Yeah, definitely want one of those. 
Right, we're going to take a closer look at some of the darts now and start with the 85% Pro Series player range. And Lee, there'll be some people watching this saying, what does that even mean? So bring us up to speed. So 85% material is uh, it's a lot more affordable, generally more directed towards the intermediate player. Um, you're going to get a slightly fat, fatter dart, but you still get the same machining capabilities and you still get quite a dense dart for quite a dense, dense tungsten. Yeah. And we can see here we've got darts specific to our pro players. Just having a little look at Michael Van Gerwen's, for example. Um, just talk us through how they're unique to every player. Okay, so out of the six players we've got here, each each dart follows is a proven profile on, on the Pro Tour. Um, each dart is um, tank, uh, Onyx coated, so we've got a, a PVD coating on there. Um, pretty, pretty unique, really, in the colour schemes. Like I say, proven, so you've got your parallel dart for... MVG, you've got your Joe Cullen with his classic scallop in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, Danny Norbert, slightly shorter barrel, but parallel. Um, you've got your uh, Daryl Gurney with a long radius on the front. Again, that follows his unique sort of uh, style. Same with Simon Whitlock. Quite a unique <laughs> profile on Simon Whitlock's darts. So each one of these darts has been sort of developed with, with our team. And um, yeah, it's aimed more at the sort of inter intermediate level player. Um, like I say, proven profiles. And worth saying as well, each set of darts is available in multiple weights and also soft tip. Yeah, the soft tip market is huge for us, especially in sort of Europe, Asia, America. It's, it's really growing market, so uh, yeah, all included. Well, maybe the perfect place for you to start is in Michael Van Gerwen's darts, possibly the most similar to yours. Yeah, I mean, in theory, I should be able to throw these, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, in theory. it's a similar shape to mine, a similar weight, fairly grippy, obviously. Yeah, it's gone all right. But um, yeah, they just, I think if, if, if you're a player starting out and you've got a sort of a basic dart to go with, I think this is the one you should go to. Possibly the most similar to yours? Yeah, similar in sort of shape. I think it's, it's, it's a dart if you, I think it's a common dart to go to, the sort of shape, the length. It's fairly grippy. And um, yeah, they're not as accurate with me as they are with Michael. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a nice dart. And I'd sort of, obviously, with, with the length and everything, they'll be perfect for, for players out there. Mm -hmm. So you've got Florian Hempel, uh, slightly less grip, but more towards the back and a bit more of a rounded front nose. Definitely feels like it's a, there's a bit more grip going on at the back end of the dart yeah. and ever so slightly heavy. I don't think there's much in it, but again, it's it'll be a popular dart. Obviously, there's, there's common features that crop up on a lot of darts. What, yeah. what is the weight difference? Only one gram, so yeah. that's uh, really well. <laughs> ever slightly. so slightly. Yeah, was right, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> See if you can guess these ones. It's, uh, Simon Whitlock, there's a pretty unique profile on this one. So you've got a scallop halfway up and very narrow at the front, so yeah. really loaded. There's always going to be, Whitlock keeps you guessing, doesn't he? He, yeah. he? he does like to change his darts, but he does always have that little that scallop in the middle. But it, it doesn't really suit my grip, as you can see. But um, there's just that little indent where Simon puts his finger in. Again, we'll, obviously with the colours as well, will prove to be a popular dart. Yeah, yeah the so, colour scheme's nice, isn't it? Yeah, really definitely. Really it's, a, it's a big feature well. these days, yeah. yeah. So I think you like these ones. Um, Daryl Gurney, so you've got a lot more grip at the front and a, and a really uh, large radius on the front. Yeah, obviously with the way Daryl throws, I would like these as well because I do grip generally down the bottom of the barrel. Well, you never guess what can happen. Um, yeah, it's just, again, it's, it, there's just features that every player will want. You'll, you'll want a bit of grip somewhere on the dart. For Daryl, it, it just seems to be down the bottom. Yeah. So we've got um, Danny Knott, but by comparison, a really aggressive grip, sort of uh, front and back. Uh, let's see what's going on with those. Yeah, I like Danny's darts. I think, again, similar in terms of the length of mine. But yeah, again, these are really grippy. And it's yeah. kind of a trademark of Danny. He's had a, a, a very grippy dart. And obviously, if you've got a sort of a grippy action, these are perfect. I think you like these ones as well. You've thrown them a few <laughs> times, old Joe's yeah. I've got to like these ones, haven't yeah. I? Like the me, but do you know what? A popular dart as well. I think the, the, the colour scheme of darts these days as well is what players like. And, um, you know... The, this sort of design has coincided with sort of the best spell of Joe's career. Yeah, so, you know, we, we spoke are. about the, the scallop in the mini in the middle many times. It was sort of took a long time to get it right, and when we did get it right, his sort of uh, yeah. his career took a step up. In the, in no wonder level. you like the uh, color scheme as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got that on me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well, that was really insightful stuff. That's it in terms of looking at the 85% player range, but we're going to have a more closer look now at some of the specific player darts, looking at Brendan Dolan, Willie O'Connor, the likes of Simon Whitlock and one of our new Winmore recruits in Leonard Gates. I'm going to hand you Simon Whitlock to start with. Really nice looking dart that. Yeah, it's uh, quite some quite intricate machining, which, uh, which is the same type of machining as on his special edition dart. What I would say about Simon is dart 
the shape of his dart has evolved in the last 15 years massively from the front loaded down to the rear loaded to what you see there today. Yeah, and kind of Peter right aside, he's probably one of the biggest tweakers in the game, Simon Whitlock. He's still looking for perfection now. He, um, he, he's stuck with that grip at the top and bottom, like you said. And yeah, he's still got a massive appetite for the game. Yeah. So we've got Leonard Gates starts. Look like there's a whole lot of grip on that. <laughs> yeah, I saw these early. I'm looking forward to having a go with these. Obviously, I've never thrown a dart this grippy, but again, it's he's been a good story, Leonard Gates. He's obviously won a lot of seniors titles this year and he's been very successful. He's got a very direct throw as well. And clearly, he's a player that likes a lot of grip on his dart and it's it's doing him the world of good. It's a really long dart, long battle as well. Yeah. If you see him playing on, on TV, he actually uses an adagram at the back end to make it even longer, <laughs> yeah, which is just like... Unreal, by far the longest dart I've seen used on the Pro Tour. Right, and these are Brendan Dolan's. Yeah, again, looking forward to it. I think Brendan's a good story. Um, obviously, four or five years ago, he just had a very basic dart, didn't he? And there wasn't a lot you could change. He had a very methodical action. He's changed a lot. He's changed a lot to his dart. There's a little indent in the middle for where he grips. And obviously, the pace of his play now, and he's still competing at the highest level. And that's what good players can make these changes and sort of further their career. And, and Brendan's done that. Yeah, I think the position of the, the skull up right at the front end of the dart is really unique for Brendan. Mm -hmm. I remember when he first came into the workshop, it was just like, just a plain dart. And I was thinking, <laughs> what do you do here? So to see where we've ended up. It's, evolved. You know, it's, yeah, it's evolved right full circle. I'm going to finish with Willie O'Connors. Yeah. I'm, Fairly straightforward. Yeah, uh, similar kind of China shape, uh, sort of a Johnny Clayton style, but the grip goes all the way back and he's added a section of micro grip in the midsection then. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a he, classic profile. He's another player like Brendan as well, made big changes, didn't he? Not so much in design, but in terms of the way his darts land, he's changed the style of the way he's played. And he's he's done okay the last few years, William O'Connor, but I think he needs to kick on now and hopefully his darts will be the catalyst for it. Yeah, he's had a solid couple of years, but I, I agree. I think now's the time he needs to step up now and hopefully these will, these will help him. That's a little bit of insight then into specific player ranges. We're going to take a look at some of the really exciting bespoke ranges now. I said earlier that the Firestorm was one of my personal favourites. And this is where Lee has been let loose and has been able to show off his engineering skills. Well, I said earlier that the Firestorm had caught my eye and I joke with you saying that this is where you've been able to show off. But it is almost like you've been able to be let loose and have a little go and explore something. Yeah, so the Firestorm really, really exciting look and, and feel you've gone for sort of c-axis milling on it um i mean the look and the, the way the way the colors blend lend itself to the sort of fire theme i just know these are going to be really popular darts um, <laughs> yeah. so there's two different profiles you like a parallel dart which i think mark will probably like to throw first and the, the real loaded version so. yeah, it's, it's a bit more of a big bit of a deal now isn't it the sort of the appearance of the dart and um yeah it's fairly it's fairly gripping not too dissimilar to what I would have thrown, but obviously it's people who are buying darts now want, want something different and um, this range obviously lends it to that. Yeah, we did a, a similar kind of coat in a couple of years back in different colour scheme and honestly it's one of the most successful darts at launch we've ever had, so I, I just know this one's going to be really popular. I imagine that's quite important as well, getting younger people into the sport. Ma massively, sort of all the aesthetics and the sort of cool look and everything, it's, it's, it's darts is a, is a cool sport now. Yeah, definitely. These are obviously same design in terms of the colour, but just a bit of a tapered edge. And um, yeah, again, I think it's a good point you made as well. I mean, sort of younger players looking on, they want that appearance. They don't want just this standard dart anymore. And th these definitely fit the bill. Yeah, I know Mark will like these because they're so <laughs> similar to the, to yeah, the originals. Yeah, I, I eyed these up, obviously not the colour I use, but yeah, this is basically pretty much what, what, I, what I was most successful with. Just this sort of, this, this was sort of the basic design. This was kind of a go-to design when you were sort of starting. Well, for me, it was starting out. This is sort of the dart that players would go for. But like I said, there's so many more options out there now yeah. and it, it, it's good for the game. Well, yeah. The Foxfire dart is literally, that's a 20-year-old design. It's just had a bit of a revamp and with the, the rainbow coating and a, and a bit of a relaunch. So. And obviously, Sniper has been around for some time, but it really feels like these darts have, have really evolved over time. Yeah. So actually, one of my favourite darts. They're so unique. Probably... When these came into the market, they were sort of, well, who's going to throw them? And they're a bit too much out there, but consistently they've been sort of at the top of the sales and everything and they're really popular. So they've had a, a revamp now with a lot more machining, a bit more intricacy on them and a, and a bit more of a modern look. So. Yeah, I think these cater for a bit of everything in the game. There's obviously, there's plenty of grip. There's, a, there's, a, there's little indents in them as well where you can grip your fingers and um yeah th th i can see why these are popular and it's like similar to simon whitlock he likes these little indents and the this range yeah. has got that 
I think people sort of take a look at that and they generally think, oh, that's something I just have to try because it's just <laughs> an intrigue, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course it is. Again, these are just as grippy. You've got the indent in the middle. As um, like I said, it's, it's something that Simon Whitlock sort of adapted into the game. Yeah. And um, yeah, I agree with you, Lee. I think people just look at them and there's, there's that curiosity, isn't there, of yeah. how they feel. And um, yeah, it's obviously a big deal and why they are popular. Yeah. Right, you've been showing off with these bespoke ranges, but let's take a little look at what else you've been up to. Okay. Mark and I are like kids in a candy store, just looking at all these darts here. This is sort of what a lot of people are tuning in and, and want to see and want to look at. Yeah, we've got a really wide selection of products this year, ranging from sort of uh, lots of flight designs. We've got a lot of uh, some player dart ranges, some specific uh, new profile designs. We've got some accessory packs, new shirts, flights, lots and lots to choose and look at. Firestorm, already my favourite. Yeah, it's going to be really, <laughs> really popular. Well, that concludes the 2024 Winmore product launch. Had such a good time being involved in my first product launch. Can't wait to try some of the products and also definitely taking some darts home with me. Um, thank you so much to Lee. Thank you to Mark as well. If you want any more information on any of the products that you saw during this launch, then head over to the Winmore website. And also they are all available at all global dart retailers as well. And we hope you enjoy them and we'll see you soon.